the Stroud station, which is in the town centre, and I'm going to cycle out to uh, Chelford, which is four miles, going past Throp, which is one and a half miles, Brimscombe, two and a half miles. So the whole journey should be about 20 minutes. Let's see how I get on. It's a shame there's no drop curb. So this is the start of the canal path in the town, or indeed the end. Lovely. Except as a cyclist, or indeed a pedestrian, it's just way too narrow. The, the surface doesn't drain properly. You can see the puddles, they just end up being filthy. The contrast with the A419 and all the traffic and noise couldn't be greater. It's just lovely down here. This blind bend is just not comfortable. Morning, now squeeze by. Thank you. My resting in knuckles. I'm not sure if we can cycle this bit. Oh, no. Oh, no. So it's just really narrow because of the humpback bridge and up here if you can see that it is the width of the handlebars it's just crazy it's just way too narrow for any uh, cyclist and the access onto the main road he's up those steps well good luck with that it's an unlit tunnel is uh, quite spooky. One final thing about the canal, it's unlit, so I don't know how many people would feel comfortable coming down here at night. I wouldn't have thought any woman, girl, child would uh, consider this. And of course in winter there's an awful lot of darkness. Possible to proceed. So this is Brewery Lane where cyclists and indeed pedestrians have to try and cross the road and it's just too busy. Too many cars, and I don't think an uh, adult would choose to cross here, let alone having a child or someone with a wheelchair. Yeah, just too many cars. Just to finish on a positive, I did get back to Stroud Station. These are the new cycle storage facilities which are undercover and secure. So maybe there is some hope that cycling and indeed pedestrian infrastructure will come.